First of all, thanks for clicking in my video and I'm sure you are having a fantastic day. This is going to be a quick video about three useful prototypes and here I will show you the slider prototypes, hover action prototypes and finally the scroll action prototypes. If you are getting into interaction design and want to do some very cool prototyping to make the design alive, then you should watch the full video. Hi, this is A.B. Abir. Welcome to my channel Design Thinking. Let's get into it. Let's say you have completed the design and now you want to make it interactive. This is a demo design and I'm gonna work on this. Let's start with the slider animation. I will make this arrow interactive here. As you can see, the whole hero section is under a group. I am making a duplicate of this group out of this frame. This is my second image for this slider. First, make this group a frame from here. I'm dragging this image in this frame. As you can see, this image is at the bottom but I will bring it to the top. By the way, square brackets are the keyboard shortcut that I have used for position the element on the top or the bottom. Now I'll just push this out from the frame's visibility. But as you can see, it's still inside the frame, just not in the visible area. Okay, now let's bring the text as well for the second slide. Let me just rename it. Make a duplicate. Change the text. Now I'll reverse the opacity of the arrows. Also bring this line up here. Uh, finally, I will push this image out of the frame. And bring this one into the frame. Now one issue here is that the image is on the top of all the elements. Let's place it at the bottom. Place it above this frame actually. I have to do the same for the previous frame as well, otherwise the smart animate will not work properly. All set. Now let's convert this into a component. Select both to make a component variant. So what will happen here if someone click on this arrow, it will slide to the next frame. So for that, select the smart animate for this and this should be easy in and out. Do the same for the next slide as well. Okay, uh, now from the main frame, I'll remove this group. Go to the asset tab and drag it out and place it right here. Align this. Now let's see the output. As you can see, the slider animation is looking great and working perfectly. Now, the next trick, hover animation. Make a copy. Draw a line here. Make it yellow and make it a thick border. Let's make it a small 
and draw another one with double the size. Select both and make it a group and then frame it. Rename this. Place this inside the frame but should not be visible. If you want to check, you can uncheck the clip content and it will reveal the invisible element as well. Making a duplicate of this. Rename. Let's select both of this line and push it to the left out of the visibility. Now repeat the component making process for this as well. From the prototype option, I will select while hovering and it should be smart animate. Now let's drag it out from the asset tab. Uh, now you cannot place this in the mainframe because it's a child component. Whatever you want to change, you have to change it in the mother component. So I'll just copy this and replace it here. For this, you just have to change the name and do the same for this also. Now if you see that your content is cutting out, you have to fix it in the mother component. That means here. You have to match the both frame size. Now let's see that in action. It's a cool hover action, right? And if you want to see the CSS version of it, please let me know in the comment section. Now the final prototype is a scroll action. This means if you click here, this page will come up here. All you have to do is select the button or nav item and connect it to the section of the same page. As you can see, the prototype option is selected as scroll to. Make it animated. I'm gonna increase the duration to make it smooth. Let's do another one. Now, if I click here, it will scroll to that section. As you can see, this is doing the same, but I might need a bit padding here. So to do that, click to the connector, put any negative value on the Y axis. Now let's check. Now it's looking better now with a bit more padding or gap. So that's it. I hope these simple prototypes will help you in your next project. If you have anything, any question in your mind, please let me know in the comment section. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.